Hi, it's Chris and Susan Beasley and we're here today with Matt Morris. We've flown all the way from London to Dallas, Texas. And if you don't know Matt, he's going to tell you a little bit about himself in a moment, but he is the author of The Unemployed Millionaire and this is a pretty awesome book. So Matt, thank you so much for being here and allowing us to, to ask you a few questions. So. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I can. Um, well, I, uh, I guess you described me as uh, kind of a serial entrepreneur since I was about uh, 18 years old. I actually I got into network marketing for most of my adult life. I've been involved in the network marketing industry. Uh, when I was 18, I was in college and had a cute waitress ask me uh, if I ever thought about being in business for myself. And, I wanted to build a rapport. <laughs> so I said, yeah, all the time. And so she said, well, great, now give me your phone number. And so I quickly gave her my phone number and she said, I'll call you and we'll talk business sometime. And I was definitely ready to talk business. So um, she called me a couple days later and invited me to the Hilton Hotel one night. <laughs> I thought, oh, it sounds pretty good to you know, meet her at the Hilton Hotel. So I showed up and unfortunately there was a room full of people wearing suits. And a uh, guy got on the board and he started drawing uh, circles. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got amazingly excited and so I've you know, just never left network marketing since I was 18. I'm 36 uh, years old now, so it's been 18 years in, uh, in the industry. And so uh, first five years I was a, uh, uh, the ultimate failure. <laughs> I mean, I, I realized what not to do. And um, I think everybody goes through that yeah, process. It's so you know, it's a <laughs> every entrepreneur. I mean, you know, we're probably like you. We're serial entrepreneurs. Yeah. You know, we we've always had our own business. Uh, I don't know since 1985. I had my first business, and uh, but you have to go through the. I don't know. We call it the grind. You have to go through the hard bits sometimes yeah, before yeah, yeah. you actually learn the real good bits. I always, uh, you know, in my trainings, I talk about you've got to dig a really deep foundation if you want to build a really tall building. And so it's uh, it's not so easy when you're going through the <laughs> digging of the foundation. You're like, okay, I'm deep enough. <laughs> it's time to start building up. So. Um, Anyway, over the years, I kind of figured it out. Um, lived out of my car for a period of time when I was 21. I actually took a job selling swimming pools um, in Louisiana, the hottest part of the U.S., and uh, July and August, the two hottest months. And so, I learned all kinds of interesting things being homeless. So, um, you know, decided, actually, I got laid off from uh, my corporate job when I was uh, about 22 years old. And I got mad enough to finally decide never again am I going to let someone else control my financial destiny. So I decided to get back into network marketing and actually have a criteria to evaluate the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, ended up, you know, finding a company that, you know, really some great mentorship. And went from having no success over five years in network marketing to within two years building a, a team of about 10,000 people. <laughs> And going from earning, you know, uh, I was actually working as a waiter at Saltgrass Steakhouse, uh, making about three or four hundred dollars a week, to about six months later earning about ten thousand dollars a week. So total life shift uh, in a big way. So that's when I was 24, 25 years old, and so the last, you know, 10, 11 years now, uh, 12 years or so has been full time in, uh, in network marketing. And so it's been a heck of a ride. I've been able to build organizations of you know over a quarter of a million people and all over the world and it's been a heck of a ride. I've spoken to audiences in about 20, 25 countries, <coughs> something like that. So it's been uh, fun, amazingly fulfilling. So I mean we 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 know that you are the number one Anna, in World Ventures. So can you tell us a little bit about why you actually chose World Ventures sure. as your main network marketing yeah. agency? Yeah, <laughs> would, uh, would love to. I, uh, you know, a few <laughs> different things, and I've, I've done uh, several different type products and, you know, different companies over the years. And uh, I got to tell you, the thing that really attracted me to World Ventures was that it was travel. Um, you know, yeah. it was fun. And I had actually done travel and network marketing uh, years before. Unfortunately, it was a company that owners had never done network marketing before. They didn't, the company definitely didn't meet the criteria. But it was by far the most fun I had ever had in network marketing. And I remember I was earning a six-figure income, and uh, my mom asked me if I was happy. And uh, you know, she was like, I know you're 
doing all this business, but are you happy? She was worried about me, and I said, Mom, if I was making $30,000 a year and just getting by, it would be a dream lifestyle, because I'm talking about something that's just so much fun, and I think, you know, my kind of philosophy, you know, on life is, is just life is all about chasing peak experiences. At the end of my life, I want to be able to look back on my life and say, man, I really went for it, and I had an amazing time, I had tons of fun, and I really lived this life of fun, freedom, and fulfillment. And of all the products that I could market, travel meets that more than anything else mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yes. Yes. You know, and so um, you know, it's travel. We get in, in world ventures. What I've seen um, and been able to, you know, through amazing leadership within my organization, yes. um, build a team of about a little over a hundred thousand people in less than four years. So it's been an amazing growth curve. I mean, a hundred thousand in four years. Was like yeah. I never imagined years ago that I'd ever have a hundred thousand total in anything. And to do that in four years has been amazing. But it's we get people who normally would never do network marketing in a million years, but they'll do this because it's travel, because it's fun, because of the culture that we create. And so, you know, number one, it's travel. <laughs> and that's the number one. Of all of the, if In my organization, if I ask all the different leaders and so forth, why did you pick World Ventures? They're going to say, it's travel, it's fun. It's just, it's different. You know, it's unique. I think that's what people really want is something that's unique and different. And then the size of the industry was big for me. You look at um, everything that's ever been sold in network marketing, travel's bigger than, you know, most of everything combined. You know, you got to, depending on the numbers that you see, anywhere from, you know, 6.3 to $8 trillion a year spent on travel. It's massive and really no competition. You know, we are by far the largest travel network marketing company in the world. So far ahead of number two, we don't even know who number two is. That's how much <laughs> World Ventures That's is the running powerful. giant in the travel space. And that kind of leads me to my second criteria point. And this was something I... I really never imagined that I'd have, but it's to be the running giant or to be part of a company that's the running giant for their industry and network marketing. And so if you look, I believe history repeats itself. And so, you know, you look at Avon. Avon was the running giant in cosmetics. No one's ever been able to come close. You know, they do about $11, $12 billion a year in cosmetics. Mary Kay, they're doing amazing, $4 billion, but nowhere close. Amway, they're the running giant in home care products. No one's ever come anywhere close. You know, they're doing about a billion dollars a month right now in revenue. It's created it's two, so many millionaires we can't even count. Uh, Herbalife and weight loss, they're running giant. No one's ever come close in the weight loss market. And so travel, we got the biggest industry in the entire world, and we're the running giant. No one else, even now, we're a young company. We're only about seven years old, so it's a baby just starting the international expansion and all this. And uh, anyway, to be the front runner is, uh, is just an amazing thing. So that's kind of the second thing. The third thing is something that I think is maybe the most important for whatever company that you are wanting to you know get started in and join. You've got to have a company that has a culture of amazing training. Because most people are getting involved in network marketing, they haven't done it before, or maybe they have done it and they haven't had a whole lot of success. And that's what was always lacking for the companies that I was involved in. And I, you know, through many, many years of struggle and becoming a speaker and all this, I learned how to be able to get on stage and motivate and speak to where people are just going to buy, you know, a high percentage of people are going to buy when I speak and so forth. But I would always have to do the training. It was okay. Exactly. I've got to. I've got to put on the Super Saturday, and I've got to do the training mm -hmm. events and all this. It's like, wow! I just want to build my business. I don't want to have to do all the, um, you know, the operations and the logistics mm -hmm. behind putting the events together. And so, World Ventures. Uh, it was my first company was Amway. And that's the same as us, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, you know, most people who were part of Amway, they'll all admit it was amazing training. Perfect. It was training. great Perfect. training. Perfect. You know, and so World Ventures, we are. If you talk to the founders of the company, they'll always say World Ventures is a personal development company disguised as a travel company. We've heard that too. Right? Yes. Yep. And so we do just flat out unbelievable events. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't believe there's another company that does uh, training events as powerful as what we're doing. And so people come into our events, which we do all over the world. We do all across Europe. We've got them in Asia and Africa, all across the U.S. And so people come into our training events 
And they come out ready to run through a brick wall to build the business because the event was so good. It taught them what they needed in order to go out and, uh, and actually have success. And so that's, uh, I mean, I just think industry-wide, that's probably one of the biggest missing elements. I think what, what there. you just said there also is that because, you, because World Ventures holds them around the world, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you haven't got to travel to the U.S. Exactly. To, to do it. Yeah. In fact, we're about to, uh, next month, we've got a big event in Barcelona. Uh, you know, so we just did an event uh, at the end of the year in Nice, France. Oh, uh, yes. oh. My, got my buddy John, uh, one of the top leaders on my team, he's uh, actually in, uh, right now in Zimbabwe, or actually South Africa. He did an event in Zimbabwe and South Africa. So, um, yeah, all over the world. It's amazing. And then um, the other thing, obviously, you know, all this is great, but you got to get paid. <laughs> so compensation plan is amazingly important. So you've got to be part of something that's really going to pay you for your time and your effort. And so World Ventures, amazing compensation plan. The company's paying out around about 60% of the revenues that are coming in are being paid back out to us uh, in the field. And so you think about a company in the biggest industry in the world that goes on to be what I think will be a multi-billion dollar a year company simply because we're in the biggest industry there is and we're the big, you know, biggest company in the industry. And so that's important because you got 60% of the revenues being paid out. And so unlike a lot of... Um, you know, the companies that market physical products, they've got the bottle that they have to, you know, there's a cost for the bottle, there's a cost for the shipping of the bottle. And it's not, you know, I know the shipping costs get passed on, but you've got a fulfillment center, you've got a warehouse, you've got to pay for, the, you know, that building, you've got to pay for the employees there, you've got to pay for just, there's a lot of moving parts. We're World Ventures, we're a membership, a services type product, so we don't have all the hard fixed costs on delivering the physical product. So the company can afford to pay out a lot more than you know, what most so, other companies can afford to yeah, pay out. Yeah. And then uh, last criteria point, and, and this is another thing, this, was, this is what caused me to go from no success in network marketing to having a lot of success in network marketing was the right team and the right mentorship. See, in many cases I would join a company and it was so far up to get to someone who was making any money. Maybe they were retired. They weren't doing anything in the business. It was like, man, I really want to get mentorship from someone who's making money, but they made money 10 years ago or 20 years ago. I can't get any time. And so with this, um, number one, getting mentorship. Actually, my first mentor in network marketing, it's the reason why I went from no success to huge success, is uh, a guy named Wayne Nugent. He's the co-founder of World Ventures. Yeah. Oh, and wow. so it was neat now going from, you know, I'd been a top earner and actually owned my own network marketing company in the past where uh, getting involved in World Ventures, it's being able to actually get my mentorship again uh, directly from the owners of the company who have been there, they've done that, they're, you know, they've made millions of dollars in network marketing. And so having a, uh, you know, a strong team and a strong mentorship, someone like yourselves who have had huge success before, you know, someone who can plug directly in with you, wow, their chance of success is so much higher simply because they've got someone who knows how to do it, who's done that. And so going back to, you know, the concept of modeling, if you want to have big success, Find someone who's had the kind of success that you want. Figure out how they did it. Do the same thing, and you can get the same result if you're willing to do what they've done. Yeah. So that's uh, probably the final thing for me is just the right team and the right mentorship. It's very, very important to make sure you're joining with uh, a team that knows what they're doing, yeah. has proven track record of success. Well, I guess the reason we chose World Ventures is actually being completely explained for the same reason yeah, that you've explained as well. Um, yeah, it's quite amazing because you know, Susan and I, I mean, just to give a bit of background about something, our, our professional background, if you like, is, is accountants and management consultants. But three years ago, uh, we decided we'd been tied to the UK for so long because we were doing well, it was a successful business. It was all effectively still time for money, too much client time. So we made this big decision one day that we were going to just get out of it. We were going to go and work from home. We were going to find a business that we could work. Uh, we decided to go and work online because it allowed us to fulfill our passion for travel, funnily enough. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Strange coincidence, um, that really. You know, one of our passions is actually skiing, and we have a lovely house in the mountains in France, which we were lucky to see four days a season, you know. Oh, and, yeah. and, that um, doesn't work. It, that, that didn't work for us. So, so we made this big decision to, to get out. 
and like everybody, we started part time. You know, you, you have to start this thing part time. And we don't encourage anybody to start a new business unless they have some sort of financial backing or they've got another job. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, that's where most yeah. people start. And so we started this and we, we set ourselves a target of six months. We said in six months we're going to be doing this full time. And that's exactly what we did. We worked hard, you know, and nobody's saying that you can start a business that doesn't involve hard work. Does sure. I mean, that's yep. the way it is. But the, but the rewards are fantastic. So that's where we went. And for the last two and a half years, we've been building a, an affiliate business. We've done lots of training. Um, love training. Love, love training. We've done a lot of traveling as well. But we got to the point in our business where we actually wanted to start another income stream mm -hmm. because we're, we're firm believers in multiple income streams. Um, and so we've been looking. Uh, for a network marketing business because, as you said earlier, you know, we started in Amway and yeah. whilst, you know, Amway wasn't successful for us. <laughs> Caught the dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The training was awesome. The training was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. And I love the products, mm. I have sure. to say. Yeah. But, but we did, you know, we set ourselves a set of criteria and I think, you know, the first one of those criteria was, was product. Yeah. And the product had to be a product that was in high demand and that people would love and people also wouldn't mind recommending sure. and you know travel just <laughs> hit that nail right on the head and the other the other part of the product was it had to be service based because we didn't want to end up with a garage full of product thinking how are we going to sell this stuff <laughs> sure. who's going to buy it no we just didn't want to go there and i guess you guys are <laughs> exactly the same watching this video right now you're thinking i don't want to do that no. And I think the other thing about the product is, is, you know, it has to be a service that could be delivered by somebody else. So, you know, we didn't want to get involved in buying it and then delivering it yeah. and collecting money and all that. You know, realistically, not only do we not want it, but I think, you know, your clients, they just want to nowadays be, want to be able to go online and research it or buy it. Yeah. Because that's at the end of the day, that's what we all do. So that was our sort of product it was, criteria it was, and research, wasn't it? Was definitely. It? And so <laughs> it just totally ticked all the boxes for us and, and particularly our passion for, for travel. Yeah. Uh, and I think this, <clears throat> looking around the world and listening to what people are saying, Matt, they want to travel more. Yeah. And they want to travel more not just because of the physical travel, but because of the memories that it gives them and that they can hand down through their families, through their kids, and they can talk about it and talk about it. Yeah. And I think it's experiences, in our opinion, are what matter to people, mm -hmm. really and truly. Um, I think also, you know, just to go back to our criteria, I mean, we wanted to make sure we were working with an established company. Mm -hmm. and sure. It's not just um, a company that's been around for a few years, but one that's financially secure because yeah. that is really, really important. Um, so they're going to be around for the future and also yeah. forward thinking. So they're actually <laughs> thinking about where are we going next. And I mean, you know, we know through talking to you uh, that, you know, the management are really strong. They are uh, amazingly progressive company. In fact, I've been amazed because in many cases in the past, I, you know, it's like I would have to go to the company and say, Right, you should implement this, you should do this, and you know, it's a lot of, you know, it's been true for a lot of, you know, different companies I've been in, and, and World Ventures, they keep rolling out things, and if I do give them an idea, they say, well, that's great, but we're going to do this and make it better. <laughs> in fact, with our BMW promotion, you know, we, as leaders, we kind of masterminded on a, a car promotion, yes, and, um, you know, then we gave it, you know, talked to the company about it and they got all excited and they put it together and they made it way better than what we had even planned. It's usually it's, you know, we say, hey, we want this and they say, we, we want this and they give you this. <laughs> so yeah, it's true. made very progressive. And I love the whole thing about, you know, the, the dream, you know, the lifestyle and the experiences. Yeah. What I, what was really clear to me in looking at World Ventures is, you know, I look at the network marketing industry, why it chose World Ventures, could have done, you know, just about anything. Well, what's the number one reason why people do network marketing to begin with? And it's to fulfill their dream, whatever your dream is. And so, number one dream in the world, if you ask most people, if you won the lottery and had all the time and all the money that you wanted, what's the number one thing that you would go do? Guess what most people say they'd go do? Go on holiday. Go on travel. Go on holiday. Yeah. So what if your product could actually be the number one dream in the world? Pretty awesome.
it's well said. Fantastic. Yeah. So, no, and I think the last thing that, that we had, I mean, you know, you mentioned world class training, you you mentioned, you know, a simple and effective comp plan so everybody gets paid on yeah. time. Um, but what about the community? You know, to us, community is very really sure. important. Yeah, that's huge. In fact, I, I think community is, if you look at the billion dollar companies out there, the ones I'm in, you know, Avon and Mary Kay and Amway and these companies, they what they get right is they build a community and they typically do that through training events. Mm -hmm. And so the culture of World Ventures is undeniable. It's amazing. The training events, when people come to our training events, we have we track the numbers and we know people are going to make many times more income if they go to our training events. Yeah. Um, and so obviously that's the logical reason to go, but what happens is people come to our events and they just they get locked in because the culture is so much fun. Yeah. And so that's important. So we've modeled billion dollar companies that are creating you know great culture through training events, but we've got an unfair advantage <laughs> that no other company has because we build culture not just through our training events, but also through our products. And so our dream trip is our, the core of our product, and that's having anywhere from 50, 500, 1,000 members on one trip. You can see oh, some no. of our dream trip wow. videos. They're just they're amazing. Yeah. I mean, you have the time of your life on the trip. And so people go on the dream trip, and you meet people from you know, all over the country, other countries all coming in to go to this dream trip together. And so you know, I think about Moral Ventures. We were in, uh, in Cancun. We had about 2,000 people at, at one resort. It was all World Ventures people taking over the resort, you know, and so it's the whole thing of what I've had to create or manufacture on my own in the past was the team that plays together stays together. Yes, absolutely. Same as us. And yes. so Very that's awesome. built in. Our product is that. It's the ultimate culture builder in network marketing. And so I think that's, what, you know, part of the secret sauce behind World Ventures is the culture. And, you know, that's the thing. If you talk to different leaders in uh, World Ventures that have had success, that's one of the key elements that they'll say is the culture builder. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so I think the so last question there. The last question. I think is, no, what type of people, I mean, you've got a huge team, you mentioned, you know, 100,000 in four years. I mean, what sort of, what type of people come into your, come into your team? <laughs> well, uh, what type of people? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Fun us, people. Well, our, uh, yeah, our, uh, our, the tagline for the company is make a living living. And so it's not making a living stressing, it's making a living living. And so it's, you know, having fun and kind of the mission of the company is to create more fun, freedom and fulfillment in people's lives. And so, you know, that's the company's mission. So you've got to want more fun, freedom and fulfillment in your life. And you know, we attract that we do. We attract people who are fun. <laughs> it's a very fun culture. But uh, people who want freedom and who just, you know, ultimately want more out of life. Yeah. But in you terms know? of their background, what they've done historically or what they currently do, their job and that presumably it's there is anyway. there is a criteria. I mean it's the people who typically join World Ventures and I learned this from uh, a mentor of mine, Lisa, and uh, it, it's we attract typically married people unless they're single. <laughs> people who live in big cities, unless they live in small cities. Uh, people who are college educated, unless they don't have a college education. Um, people with kids, unless they don't have any kids. <laughs> so, That's everyone. So awesome. Yeah. Old, unless they're young. I mean, yeah, it's everyone. It's travel's universal. Everyone loves travel. Well, thank you, Matt. We really appreciate that. So, if what you've heard today really excites you as much as it does us, then we would just like you to click just below this video and you're going to see another video that Matt has very kindly recorded for us. We know you're going to love it and we'll see you again.